I gotta see if I'm blue. If I was green, I would die. <laughs> if I was green, <laughs> <laughs> that would die. Yeah, that would die. That would die. Everybody say y'all would, would die, not knowing he was saying if I was green, I would die. I did not know that. That's what he I was, was green, saying. I would die. I never knew that. Really? I was today years old. All right, let's get into it. Let's okay. get into it. <laughs> That's great. Let's talk about it, yo. I got Candace and Omar on the show. Ooh, ooh. What's the dilly? What's the dilly? Again, it came through before, but you know the 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 video came out soft taco, you know, and they were looking Al Sharpton. So I said, y'all got to come back in, and we got to do it again. So I'm going to use that first intro that we used on from the first one because it was dope. So I got the stars of the Komar show, Candace and Omar on the show. Ooh, ooh. Uh, Sheesh. Okay, that's got the energy. I can't even Damn. give y'all an intro. Damn. You know what I'm saying? We got we got the two time Super Bowl winning. You got with two rings? I got one. You, oh, you got one, but you been, but you been, been to two, two Super Bowls, I've been right? To two. Okay. I've been to two. And then we got Candace. She got so many things going. You got like how many businesses you got now? She got her la- seven. last company. You got seven businesses At now. All times. I'm just trying to keep. Wow. I'm just trying to. <laughs> I just try to keep. I'm just trying to keep up with, with what's going on. Then y'all got the the, the world famous Coma show on YouTube. This is crazy. So they in the building and today I, I i really wanted to bring y'all in because i wanted to talk about y'all been together for how many years now it's gonna go on four four years four years in la is like 12 years y'all so they've been together for 12 years so since <laughs> they've been together for over a decade i figured that i bring y'all in and we talk about this and i want to just know i want to talk about how do you keep a man Right? Oh wow. We're not gonna talk about how to keep a woman because oh, that's great. we wanna talk about we wanna talk <laughs> oh, about that's great. we wanna talk about how to keep a man because a lot of girls can't can't hold on to hang on hold on the guys. Okay, that's a great we're gonna just dive yeah, we're gonna, right we're gonna, right we're gonna we, we, we diving right into it. Let's talk about it. Honestly, you guys, I really believe okay, I've been in Look, he looking too. He looking. He looking. Like, I can't wait to hear this. Don't fuck up. I can't wait to hear this. I've been in plenty of relationships in my life. I right. consider myself a relationship type of woman, right. girl, whatever. I always thought that was cool, but I could say the the reason why I feel like our relationship, or I'm keeping this man, or whatever this situation is, probably better than any other relationship I've ever had in my whole entire life is. Hmm. I know who I am as a person going into it. So like. I'm as solidified as a human by myself, woman, girl, femininity. Uh, so you career. had to solidify yourself first. Hundred percent. And, and how long did that take? Is it like years. just two years of life, and years then you just life, say, "All right, trial, no. error, dating somebody, liking them for this, not liking that, knowing what you want, knowing exactly what you want." And I think I swear, you guys, the remedy is writing shit down and like. What you like, what you don't like. You know what's crazy? Can I just say this? I just did a, a podcast with Batch, right? Okay. And and we would I was just talking about writing shit down, and he he didn't agree. Really? Yeah, he's a, he's a terrible human being. <laughs> Uh, he's a he's a ter- he's a terrible person. Is this Michael? Yes, it's on. All right, hold on now. Okay, so what are you no, even no, talking no. about? No, hello, hello. Yeah, hello? we hear okay. you. He's not even on record. Can you put can you put him on record over there? He's not. Turn his, why you, turn his camera on. Crash. Turn no, we're not gonna turn his camera on. No, they, he's trying to crash the show. His camera don't have no battery. It's good enough. You already had your show. <laughs> and he gave me a bullshit ass intro. He gave y'all a magnificent intro. A magnificent one. I love it. Damn. I'm not even gonna edit that shit. Uh, <laughs> all right, so he, he's in. So I was talking to him. He said that 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 you know the list don't matter because we were talking about deal breakers on his shit, right? And I was like, you need a list of things that you just don't fuck with, right? And then he didn't agree. No, I didn't say that. I said like, okay, everybody's different, right? Everyone has their process. For me, I have it. I have it in my mind. Like, I already know, like, a liar is a deal breaker. But you didn't even believe you had deal breakers. Yeah, because, like, I could... But because, we got a whole list right no, here. No, 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 because, like, one of the lists... We got a lot of lists. But one of them was, like, cigarette smokers. I don't smoke cigarettes, right? Um, and I don't prefer someone who smokes cigarettes, but I'm not going to say that's a, a permanent deal breaker. I might fall in love with someone who smokes cigarettes. What? You think you would? No, no you wouldn't. Yeah, I don't but think for you would. Podcast, for, for the sake of this conversation. Uh, for the big, for, yeah, yeah, for the sake of this conversation. You see what I'm saying? Conversation. Imagine, like, someone uh, smokes cigarettes, they fall in love, and then the love, they, they, they compromise, like what y'all did earlier. You said, I switched to this side because it would make you happy. I'd be like, don't smoke because it's going to give you cancer, and then she quit that shit. And then y'all break up and she resents you. Yeah, but then she'd go back to smoking the cigarettes. And, and I, 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 I still added five years to her life. You have no, lists. Come on, you that's have a internal bullshit. lists. Everybody, internal. everyone has a list. Internal, internal and a if list. you don't physically write it down, cool. But 
You have, you know what you want and what you don't want. But are you in a relationship right now? No, I haven't been in a relationship for seven years. So that's, why we that's why he need lists. That's no, why I'm trying. To, no, that's why I told. Him. I said I'm the worst person to ask relationship advice. Okay. Because I don't do relationships. That's crazy. Why? Why? Um. Why? <laughs> Boy, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Because we talked about this earlier. It's it's a deeper thing for me. For me, it's um, uh, and people reach this age sooner. But uh, for me. The sex, right? If you're going to be mm. in a relationship, you can't have the temptation to want to fuck other girls. For me, that's that's like I'm not there yet. So when I reach that age, and I've talked to a lot of older people, they say they usually hit that age around uh, 37, 43, 45. It's around there. You know, that's when people like can really like settle down. That's because the dick don't work anymore. Well, yeah, like, no, but I slowly, like, I back in the day, I would just love sex. Now it's like, oh, if I have sex, I have sex, and I'm getting older. So I imagine, like, in five years, six years, maybe it'll be like, I find one person. And he said he was still attracted to his wife. Like, he still loved the shit out of his wife. But there was no, oh, shit, look at her walking by. He didn't have that anymore. No, I hear that. I mean, I get that. It's a, definitely an urge thing. Like, even for women, I'll talk on women, like, having urges, you know, like... That's so, very normal. So, so to get to back where, where we was, um, Batch, you're off. Um, right. He has a long, <laughs> he has a long ass list. <laughs> you know, one thing on his list was he wouldn't even date women with androids. So we're, we're not even going to talk about him. We're not even going to talk about him. He's done. Bye. Bye. Batch. Bye. All right. Thank you. Guys. Oh, can I get a real intro this time? Oh, that was King Batch, y'all. Yo, Netflix King. Netflix. Okay. Let's go King. put on Netflix and right. find yep, him. Yep, got <laughs> sure. Some shit happened since y'all been on the show. Y'all want like what? The, what the fuck? A whole lot of shit done happened. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I can't even zoom in because I got cheap cameras. But she doesn't have to I'm gonna just keep it. I'm going to just keep it light right here. Wow. I'm sure you can zoom in. I'll just do a zoom in. Do a you quick see zoom that? in, zoom out. That's crazy, a wow. zoom in, zoom out. It's yeah. So okay, let's talk about it. So what happened with the uh what happened with the the, the whole engagement? When it, why did you decide? Because I remember I got a text. And I was like, you yeah. was like, yo, shh, keep it on the hush. Uh, something going down. And then you just put like a ring or something. In the I said, this nigga on it. <laughs> so, so, so. so yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't want to share with too much with anybody. But mm. the plan has really been in motion since, I would say, February. February. So about seven month plan. Seven month plan. Yeah, I mean, because. I think the bulk of it was just getting the ring, getting the right ring, getting the sizing, and finding you know the right diamond and all of that stuff. Like, and, and he knows about rings. <laughs> I mean, goddamn. <laughs> well, it was a manifestation ring that was on my right hand. That every if you look back on videos and like just things, mm. um, I would always wear the same ring, but mm. on this hand, it wasn't as intricate as this one um, with all the details and all the like the initials and all that, but. Um, yeah, guys, I was wearing a the same exact ring on my right hand because no no ring has ever touched this finger. This is a virgin Ooh, finger. Oh, she got a virgin finger. She got a virgin finger. A virgin finger. So yeah, yeah. so so month one, which is February, you said, all right, I gotta get this ring. Yeah, well, I, was that the first thing you thought? I gotta I gotta. So fellas, you gotta think ring first. You know, yeah, Super yeah. Bowl ring, wedding ring. You know, you gotta think ring. You gotta, get, you gotta get a ring first. You gotta get a ring first. No, I I thought that would be the hardest part. Right, mm -hmm. and if I wanted something custom made, that would probably take the longest. Right, so like, so that that's custom. Yeah, that's a custom job. Oh, well, let me see. Can I see that? Ooh, I don't even know clean. about rings like that. Slide that over here. Let me look at that ring real quick. Okay, oh, don't jump it. I, don't, I, I didn't want to hold it. I thought you was gonna bring your hand with it's it. Okay, it's All okay. right, I'm out, y'all. Nah, <laughs> it's still like one of those things. Uh, Our jeweler came to the house the other day, and he, I was like, I need to get it re uh, like f fixed with the size because my manifestation ring was bigger, and it's the same size as the manifestation ring. So you you had to get the, the ring smaller. Yeah, no, yeah, he just added some knots um, on the bottom. So okay, that, so that can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Yeah, because I'm learning all this stuff too so when the ring is dumb it's, it's made smaller right oh man and and because it's diamonds all around the band yes. mm -hmm. when the ring is made smaller does he get those other two two those couple diamonds back <laughs> well, I, I would love for the I, I would love to have them I, I, mean, I would add them somewhere but you know what's what's messed up about <laughs> I would love to have them I would love to ask what's wrong I just want to know hey, hey no but you know what's the, the messed up thing about getting a ring resized this is something that you learn obviously going through it mm. is it and because her band has like diamonds all the way around it right right so if we have to make the band smaller correct so uh, diamonds got to come out so that's what i'm saying do you yeah. get those diamonds back 
Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with those. Uh -huh. I mean, y'all can give put, them to no, me. No, I can Look, put them in a necklace or something. Just give them to me. They got to stay in house, fam. They got to stay it, within. Staying they're staying within the day <laughs> and the time that he did it. Like, it has to be that way because the shit was so damn magical. You wouldn't, you're, Nobody's going to take that away from me. We're not taking, we're not taking the moment away. Can't okay. take the, you cannot because it was the most magical day of my freaking life life as a female wow you rehearse these things wow you think you're gonna be all poised and look like a little you, princess you, you, i was there you didn't poison at all <laughs> the poison you poise at all you the was, knees <laughs> buckled you was poisoned i was poisoned <laughs> there was no poise the knees buckled fingers hands shaking eyes crossed ladies yo i'm gonna put a clip up so y'all can see what she did when when, we, when she walked in the door that surprise was crazy oh she was God. like oh, God. God. i was like I thought yeah, it was just chill. a normal um And always standing there back like yeah smiling, cheesing, <laughs> chilling, Got cool. Your ass. We ran that. There was raindrops on me. I don't even know how he stayed dry and I was wet. Where was I wet from? I think the waves the because wave. we were on Malibu. There were, there were waves coming up up, up on the hill and knocked the like, house off the hill. But like how did he not get hit and I got hit and right when I walked in it was like I felt like the world literally fell on me. The world fell apart. Yeah. <laughs> on me. Drop the world down and drop on your fucking head. What is the word that Willow Wayne song? Pick that, that. the world up and, and I'm gonna drop, drop it on, it on your fucking head. There it is. Yeah, yeah. That's, it. that's it. So yeah. okay so that was month one. Yeah so that was month one. Um, I probably didn't get any word back from like once we started that process i probably didn't see the ring till about april so you gave a nigga your money for three months and they didn't, they didn't let you know nothing i gave a nigga like a half oh my I gave a nigga god half. I gave oh a i didn't know crazy. this this is weird this is news to me yeah yes. i gave a nigga half up front That's and cool. i just waited and then um once the job was finished you I hit gave, him with the other I, half i gave him another half yeah so that was that was cool and then also just trying to document you know the the footage too and be smooth too because i wanted to give myself time because it's very hard to like sneak around. I tell her everything, you know. So like, so you didn't know none of this shit was going on. Not a clue. <laughs> For and what's, seven months. What's crazy? That's almost a baby. No, seriously. And what's crazy is we went to Greece. What a month before that. Yeah, about a month and a half. A month before, before that. that, and it was for Father's Day, and we had our dads in Greece, Santorini, mm. Mm. freaking Mykonos. Mm. I'm like, I kept. I was like, babe, I kept trying to drop all these freaking clues i'm like mm -hmm. santorini is the most romantic place in the world mm -hmm. you, these views are gonna be crazy and romantic and so in love every time he went to go pick up something off the ground i was like that's me this is <laughs> what i this want this is the moment this is the moment he's gonna propose <laughs> yo you know what you should have did you should have fucked with her and just go down to tie your shoe for seven months <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> seven yo. months of going down to tie your shoe <laughs> and look up like yeah yeah what's up yo i, I just you know it you know. didn't happen in greece so i was like oh he's not gonna do it he's just not gonna do it ever because greece was the moment but he gotta have his friends around what do you mean you want to be in greece well, well for me i'm I didn't care about. I didn't care. I, like, I, wanted, I don't give a fuck about none of that. I, I need. I just wanted. I want the, the moment. I, no, I for, want for me. I want him. We, we were in Greece and we were with our dads, mm. you know, and um, that's when I actually told both our dads that it was going down. I asked asked her dad for her for her his permission a year prior, you know. Mm -hmm. So when we were in Greece, it was me just really telling them the story. Personally, I didn't feel comfortable doing it without our mother there. Right. You know, I feel like the wedding it, it's it. Her dad is gonna have a very special moment. He gets to walk her down the aisle. You know, they get to have a dance and stuff like that. And there's a lot centered around the father and daughter, if, if the father's around, you know. Um, so I really wanted to have a special moment for her mom, you know. And I wanted her mom to be involved and be around. Her mom wasn't there in Greece, so it just didn't feel right. See, you don't even be thinking about that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think about it. But and I also wanted her friends there because I know I know as, as happy and as excited she would have been with being proposed to in In front Greece, of her friends. She, she wants it in front of her friends. She wants her friends there, I think, right? I mean, I love the way it went down. I would have been good with whatever, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. It's about the him in the moment that that I care about, like him knowing that he wants to do something like that, especially for a woman. For a woman, like, I mean, pro being proposed to, like I said, it's it's nothing but fairy tale coming to life. It's magical. It's magic. Mm -hmm. It's literally manifestation coming into fruition. That's what I think to me is what is important about being a fiance or being proposed to and then going into marriage and being having a wedding and then going into life with your partner. I feel like for women, for me, 
I love a good I'm I'm a sucker for love. I will always have been. And also just like you just grow up and you I don't know, it's just it's like a manifestation coming true and you always think it's going to be a certain way or you just know it's going to happen or you just don't really know. Then you go through these breakups and you have these bad times and you deal with bad relationships and you go through ups and downs like Life throws all kinds of curveballs at you. And but then like, you finally get there. And then you get there. And it's like, and oh, it's like oh my goodness. That's what it is. It's Especially that. when it's a surprise. Especially Dog. when it's a Especially surprise. Especially when it's a surprise. It was we've been on a high. We haven't I I've been on a high. The whole time. The whole time. It hasn't stopped. Because that's the promised land. I couldn't sleep. Yeah. I couldn't it's promised eat. Land. It's not a it's not it's crazy. And <laughs> lastly you guys you did it uh, he yeah, did boy. it and he killed it like i couldn't think of any more anything i couldn't think of a better just day or a better situation or a better way for him to do it like the only thing i wanted internally was like i was like i hope he has a camera there so i could watch it back because right. i'm not gonna know, you know he's gonna how my though. feeling is i'm not gonna know what it's gonna look like from the outside like for me to, i want to be able to watch it back and it's good that it happened here you know what i'm saying like because all your friends was around and between you and i you know why i don't eat fast food too much grease we don't we don't want the grease so it's glad you happened here yeah. you know what i'm saying so let's stay away from greece yeah say we're in america <laughs> we want to say we did it here and we and we good we had it go down here yeah, that's what i'm talking about it went about. down oh, big time i couldn't believe it i was so freaking shocked so now y'all in the engagement phase and you can literally talk to the people about what it's like to be in the engagement phase what's going on next you know what i'm saying because now you're past the she's not my girlfriend anymore mm-hmm it's my fiance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now y'all in his face. So now we want to talk about this phase. And how do you know when you're ready? How do you, you know how you know when you're ready to get married? That's a question for a man. Because she ready. I mean, he, if he would have asked probably in the first year or something like that, I probably wouldn't have been ready, to be honest. No, meaning from the engagement from, phase. How do y'all I know, know when saying, y'all ready to I'm actually walk down the aisle? What's the next? A, what's the, the next step? The girl has to be ready, too, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, the girl has to be ready, too. So the man, yeah, we're going to... Because I've seen some proposals where people said no. Yeah. No, and it's a thing. It's a thing. You got to be ready on both sides. Yeah, no, I I mean, I know we want to do like a destination wedding. So, you know, I want to make sure we take the proper time to find the right venue, the right spot, state, country, whatever it's going to be. Oh, these niggas got us traveling again. Yeah, what did you want to do? Stay in LA? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm gonna go wherever y'all go. I mean, what, if if that's what y'all want, I, we're I gonna pull up. No, we think that, the destination wedding is a vibe. You want to like, know why? Before we go into it, because he lives in California. His family. He grew up in California. Yeah. I grew up in Florida. We. I live here now. I feel like I'm already ripped out of my hometown. I think we need to leave our destinations and meet somewhere and pay for a vacation instead of paying all this money for one day that doesn't really you know what i mean I, I, we like experiences we do that anyways we love experiences we love traveling whoever can make it cool whoever cannot cool. Cool. watch the videos yeah we have a, if you hope you can't make it they have a we have a youtube channel you have a youtube yeah. channel and check it out check it out <laughs> it's called the komar the show Com- on go youtube to, go to the komar show that's where you watch it at but, but like, if you absolutely. can make it pull up absolutely. we love that we love a good vibe and a vacation and fun with friends i think that's what a wedding is about to and celebrate. you have successful friends so you know 200 people will come up we'll pull up yeah and come on because yeah, we pay for up. each plate still it's not yeah yeah, yeah. That's, it's that's not gonna it be is. cheap and be, and people we love to go on vacations yeah, yeah. so <laughs> that's it and for us though to get back to the question though because of the time that we're in right now like i mean we all just participated in a wedding that if it was took place 24 hours later you know it wouldn't have it wouldn't have happened it wouldn't have happened because of uh covid 19 because of covid 19 you know so i want to make sure i personally want to make sure that we're fully out of this because i don't want to have any restrictions on our wedding i don't want anybody's parents ours specifically feeling indifferent about being around certain people so you know was, was there anybody who was like no nah, they're not ready to be engaged was anybody in, not one person not, not one, one person, person. okay and not honestly one person. even if they not did you wouldn't give a fuck i don't care nah, right 
I don't care. Just ask he doesn't it. care. And that's not the vibe. I mean, it was, it was our four year anniversary. Even if it was like oh, our yeah, second year. Anniversary. Yeah, it was an anniversary thing. So that's why we want to do our wedding on the actual anniversary date. So it's going to be 818 again. Hopefully, wow. if we can find yeah. a, a, des- no, a destination. No, no, gonna be it is going to be that day. But I'm saying the venue has to be available in the year that we want. Like that specific day. Like this shit's a getting. A lot of things got to align. Yeah, a lot of things. But we know because he asked me out on that day when we were in Tur- Turks and Caicos. And then he proposed in Malibu on A18 four years later. And we need so, to have the wedding. So how anniversary. long is too long to, you know, how long is too long to be engaged? Or, well, that's a good question. Or, that's know, a great question. I don't I wanna know. Y'all, y'all, y'all remember um Mello and Lala were engaged for like eight, nine years. The long time. A long time. That's long great, time. but that's not what's happening no, here. I, I, oh, oh. <laughs> So, oh, I, you what know, are we doing? 19? Uh, 19 years. We're doing 19? No, honey, 19 we're doing years. one. He thinks we're doing two. We're doing one. I'm going to do two. No, two. He wants to do two. two. But, two. But, okay, so, okay, all right. So, here's the question. Here's the question. What do you have to have at, or bring to the table for each other before you're ready to, to actually get married? You know, don't the, you have to have. Buy uh, the house. Don't you have to have the house? Yeah. yeah. You know? And that's the and thing. That's another thing. That's the that's thing. Another, that's another reason you, why you're going to gonna have be- the house next year? We're going to have to have it soon. Cause you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're working towards it. We've been working towards the house, so right. like we want the house that we want. Like right. we could get a house. First of all, we live in a house, right? Yeah. But we want to own the house you that we. House, we so. want the house. You want the, the marriage house. The marriage house. To me, to me, it just it just doesn't make um the fi- the most financial sense as a unit moving forward. Yeah. To make that type of investment on a wedding without owning the home yeah but you could get the marriage house then you can get the baby house then you can get the, the two baby house you could always oh, upgrade sure. houses oh no 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 for sure for sure no but i think unless you do unless y'all plan on getting like one house and living there forever no 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 this no, old no, no, house no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay y'all gonna be in that house forever no, no, no that's no, not no. the vibe it's the it's the first year house or right, that like, turns into house. five years whatever right the first house of our very own then you have the wedding this is in my mind how it would be awesome oh shit you have the house that you really want that you guys work your ass off throughout your life okay Mm -hmm. together you come together and you have this home right and then you do the wedding of your dreams because this is a dream come true this is a fairy tale but it's still fun and it's still not expensive because it's gonna be it's gonna all make all sense like we can't just blow our money when we could upgrade the pool like we want to be able to you know what i mean we got to think logically yeah you have to think logically i have to especially when you're getting something of that caliber right a house and this is house a hard as a house full up it's exactly yeah. and then it's a lot. then we have you know we have the wedding then we have the babies and then we and then we'll continue and then we'll have one of those things what is it called those um when they have another wedding after 20 years I don't even know what it's uh, called. I don't know. I, I know, know, I I've know seen it. It's called a re something. I've seen it. Oh, redoing your vows or something. Yeah, like they, that. They, 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 oh, yeah. they renew re- your vows. They renew their vows. I think that's awesome. We could do one of them later on. I renew my vows all the time. A O U, nigga. A I O U. That's it. That's all. That's the only vows. That's the only vowels I'm renewing out this motherfucker. But oh, uh, but but I think I think that's dope. So so you get the things you need. You you get the the plate the house you need and then you you move into the house and then you like all right it's time to get married and there's no rules to it though this is what we want but hold on if you spend all the money on the house then you got to spend all the money on the wedding that's a lot that's a that's a lot of funds coming that's out that year that's a lot that of year. funds but yeah. that's why we I mean we work a lot we work that's hard a house is a lot I I don't think women really really understand a, a, a house is a lot I don't think really women really understand that's a they lot don't really understand. It's a lot. If you do want a house, and then if you want to have a, a vacation wedding, a vacation wedding. And then we want a honeymoon, too. And then you want a yeah. honeymoon, too. And then a baby. Your honeymoon going to be at the Best Western. No. <laughs> we can't do that. Like, moving like that. Not facts. Moving, the, moving like the that. The way y'all move, the, Moving like that. That's, you know. You know, you got to get. A house, is a, a house is a separate year from another big event. Come on. It's just, it, I mean, unless you just, like, had that a great year, you know what I'm saying? That's a, a house, especially if you want that house. Because she'll be listening to I me. Believe I believe in miracles. Yeah, but you know, Miracle Whip. Uh, 
Shit. I'm saying a house, a house, a house. When I when I got this house right here, yeah, I couldn't get anything else that year. Yeah, because I wanted, I, I wanted, because the house is not just okay. I'm getting this piece of property. Mm-hmm. It's one of those things where you get this piece of property and then the bank's looking at you like, wait a minute, you just got this. You can't get any other big investments. Mm-hmm. And once you get into that house, you got to furnish that motherfucker. Yeah, this yeah. is four thousand square feet. I had to furnish. Yeah, for and sure. Then you have to get all the rooms done. Then I wanted a gate. And then I wanted a gym in the backyard. And then I wanted to, to upgrade the pool. And then yeah. I wanted to put the theater upstairs. So it's like all these things. You could get a bare bone house and then get married, but you're going to want to put money into that home to get everything done that year, yeah. to have it a home. Because you get a house, but it's not a home. Yeah. Right. You have to make a house a home first. Yeah. So once you get that house, then it's like, now I have to make this house a home. For sure. So once you make it a home, that takes at least a year. Then once you make that that done, then you're like, okay, now I got to get the finances together for the next big thing, because you want your wedding to be special. You don't yeah. want to be you don't want to be rushed in just because. No, you don't want to be budgeting. No, nope. you know yeah. what I'm saying. You don't like, yo, yeah, I think I'm gonna get this veil. First of all, marriage is a forever long thing, so there's no real rush, right? But there is some type of momentum and fun in knowing you got engaged working, and they're coming in and getting married boom boom with working back to under back. pressure we work well under pressure already there's no real rush though i don't want to rush and budget like you said so that's a great point but at the same time i want to do the things i want to enjoy those things and we work our asses off i want to enjoy the fruits of our labor like we've been going crazy like we don't take other than our little vacations here and there like we we just work a lot so i want to just enjoy those things there's nothing wrong with that and with there's the age no, there's nothing wrong with enjoy i want to enjoy it too yeah and, and i'm not you know i'm not 20 years old either I, and you aren't either so I'm, like nah, it's time I actually i just told you today i was running on the field and i, I was like <laughs> oh i'm I'm not 20. I'm not 20 anymore. Not 20 anymore. I am not 20 anymore. Um, but what I was going to say is, is that I do want to take my time in enjoying this phase. Yeah. yeah, it's a good phase. It's a good phase. Like the 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 joy that we have right now, this bliss that we're in right now. Like I don't, I'm I'm not in a rush to end it. But it know? won't end when you get married. That's a whole nother bliss, no, and then I, you have I a whole understand. nother bliss I, I when you have a baby. I understand. I understand. And but then like, one. I, I want. Damn. I <laughs> so, want to enjoy it. So you know? I hear you, babe. So. Uh, I hear that. Are y'all? Are you going to wait till you get married to have a baby? <laughs> goddamn crickets! Honestly, it's in God's hands. I'll be back. Let me kill these goddamn crickets. <laughs> Honestly, it's in God's hands. God, did you get the crickets over there? It's God. It's up to God. It's up to God <laughs> because the God. way the had way to, that he be goddamn crickets. <laughs> it's the way that he be. It's up to God. Oh God. <laughs> I need you, Jesus. Uh, y'all, oh, y'all just don't want to tell me. Y'all don't want to tell the world. No, no. I no, mean, it's cool. It's no, cool. we can tell the world. I didn't mean to ask that question. I thought this was. I thought we was talking. I thought the show was called "Let's, Let's talk, talk About Let's It." Let's talk about but it. If we don't want to talk about We're it. We're not you know, holding cool. back. It's when cool. I personally would like to have my wedding dress the way that I want it to fit, right. <laughs> and then. Cause you can have a baby now and then and boom and then, you know and it'd be good it'd be good by the time the wedding comes it's, it's cool two years. it's cool quick little drop it's in two years little quick little he thinks it's drop. gonna be like pop, pop, pop lock and drop pop, it. pop lock and drop, drop it, it. Pop, I don't know what's gonna happen you guys I have PCOS shake back no we gotta talk about that yeah shake I have back. PCOS polycystic ovary, ovarian syndrome and that's a thing and it fluctuates my weight and snap back that's great, honey. Yeah, but he Thank still you. got his two step. You still got your two step. Yep. Oh pop yeah, that no. pop that baby out so them jeans could be moving fast, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just wanna. I, I'm a girl. I wanna be. I wanna. And you know, part of me, another thing into this fairy tale thing uh, for my family. Like, I'm their only daughter. Like, I wanna do it in order that they saw it when they had me. But yeah, that's their order. So that so so you want to do it for their, that's their, their you, order. You want to do we it for their order. order. Yeah, of course. And, and listen, if it, if so, it happened so reverse, your family's order, your family's order more important than your order. No, no, but I I'm just, just asking. I just I, I like I like having them feel proud of me. I I, I love that. I'm just and I, asking. And I love. You think you think they wouldn't be proud of you? You think they wouldn't be proud to have a, a grandbaby while they still got their two step? Of course, they are actually ready for a grandbaby. And that's what I'm by saying. the way. You, you, but I feel you like rather them, you rather them have a grandbaby three years from now, or you four years, four years from now. No, they want one now. They want one now, but in four years they're not gonna be able to keep up. But hey, like look, they can now. It's 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 all God's time. It's, I got a I got a bear right there. Y'all could just y'all could do it right now. Do it right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll step out. 
I'll, st- I'll step out, come back. I'll take a quick session. I do. Though. I'll, I'll take a quick step and come back. I'll take this session regardless. You take a session. I'll take a session. <laughs> <laughs> They're disgusting. I'll take it. Oh my god. I'll take, the I'll take it. You take, take a session. Sesh. Take a quick session. Yeah, I'll never turn that down. Quick little session. Hey, but With my I, I'm just I'm just saying that baby, you know. Hey, the parents are ready. They keep pressing us too. So I'm, I'm, it's though. not that they're not. Oh, so they so they going hard with they it. They've been yeah. going hard. Well, if you got the blessing, we had the blessing. We had the blessing before the proposal. I mean, the, of course, but like, I just know. you got the blessing. Do the session. You know, if they say if the blood, the glove don't fit, to quit. If you got the blessing, do, do, the, do the session. session. I'm, I'm gonna leave and come back. Y'all go ahead and have that. Baby. That is some come like on. 2021 bullshit y'all talking about. <laughs> Let me live in my fantasy world okay. and in okay. my okay. manifestation of how I saw my life since I was a kid. So your manifestation is you get the house in about two years, and then in about two years, it, no, get the house ASAP because we ASAP we Rocky. Own. Okay, you get the house ASAP. Right, Ferg, we own. Ferg. We got. We're getting the house soon. You getting the Fergal Rocky? I'm just trying to figure it out. So Rocky. You, so you get in the house, Rocky. Ace at Rocky. <laughs> you got the house. Ladies, I need your help. And then after you get the house, help me in you the got you got to wait a little while because you got to fill the house up with the furniture. Yeah. Then you got to go and and, and then got hit up Z Gallery. Re- relax. You, you got to relax <laughs> after you hit up the Z Gallery and get the furniture. And then you have the you have you have the, the amazing wedding. And then you have the amazing honeymoon. Yeah, and then and we, we get pregnant on the honeymoon. Get, run it. Let's run it up. And then so you get pregnant in 2025. I want to get got it. big pregnant on my honeymoon. I mean, that, that Tw- sounds... You're not going to be able to run with your son. Because <laughs> <laughs> he will be old. He will be old. I'm trying to have I can my still son smoke and, my son. Man, I'm trying to still... <laughs> you. Dude, that's tight. But how old did you have? How old? I was young, you 19. Were <laughs> yeah. You were not 20 yet. I wasn't 20. Come but, on. But I'm just saying, like, you know, I was... You know, he can't beat me in a 100 meter dash. He think he can, but no, I smoked fast, him last though, time. But you're fast as hell. But like, I'm saying, on. you want to be able to keep up with your kids. Yeah, yeah of course. And we no, want to y'all be soon. fine. You'll be fine until you're in your 60s I honestly believe... God willing, I think we'll be just fine. Yeah, you'll be great. You'll I mean, we've been physically active since we were both young, yeah, you know. Yeah, for sure. Just giving you a hard time, but you ain't say shit. Did you feel the same way? Uh, yeah, if it was I, up to I, him, he would have been had a kid. Yeah. Yeah. And then also, too, since I don't have one yet, mm. like I would love to have he or she bring the ring down the aisle. The, the, I want our dogs to bring. <laughs> you want you want the baby to bring the ring. Yeah. I want the freaking puppies too. We have so two you kids have already. Baby, right now, and have the baby bring the ring down the aisle. So y'all gotta y'all got y'all, y'all gotta do the session. Uh, we gotta do the session. We got listen. This engagement thing. This is brand new. You got the blessing. I got the blessing. We gotta figure. So y'all gotta this have out. the baby. And you so got the blessing. There's things we oh, gotta figure out still. Got the dressing. You got the dressing. You got the blessing. Do the session so the baby can do to bring the ring down the aisle. Well, how would y'all feel about twins? That'd that would be, be great. On the money. Knock it out. Two at yeah, one. That'd be great. Boom. For me. <laughs> Boom. For had, me. I, could, a, I couldn't wait. Had a good guys talk. Just knock it out. Two at I, one. one, one a boy and a girl. Mm, look at God. How but many kids I, do y'all want? I want two. He wants three. So how do you decide that? Is that, is that we'll like see two, how is we that feel. We don't even know how we feel after, after one. After one, yeah. Because that we two don't kids know. kids and a dog? That's, that's, two dogs. Mm. It's a lot. I, but definitely two because we already know how we felt after our first dog. We thought we were just going to get one. And then we're looking at him. We're like, damn, he looks so lonely sometimes. He needs a friend. So imagine if we felt that way about our dog. You we're going to definitely have that definitely with our feel that way about a kid. And then. It's a lot. Honestly, after that, two kids, I'm saying maybe three, if we feel like it. Travel the world with the kids, man. Live life. That's a lot. Get different houses. It's a lot. Get a boat. It's a lot. I, I think we're going to be in the house. Being full time parents. So okay, <laughs> here's a question that I'm pretty sure people are going to ask: What changed since from being boyfriend and girlfriend, or from courting? Would you call that courting? What did you call that? That y'all were yeah, going cor- with? A relationship. Okay, what changed from the relationship to being engaged? What changed? Like, w- I'm, I'm not just not just feeling wise. Did, did anything else change? Is it just there's just an emotional change? Do you feel like does it? Do you feel different now that you're together and, and engaged? Or or does it you know it's just the same and it's just a fucking badass ring. As far as no, like our day to, our day to day stuff, like nothing has changed. But from a, like a feeling standpoint, you know, someone asked me this yesterday or maybe this morning, yeah. and I was like, man, I just feel like nothing else matters other than what's going on in my house right now. So it, it's like just you do feel a lot more committed, a lot more committed, a lot more um, focused, focused, mm. focused, serious. Yeah, I think focus is is the best word. Focus, like, just dialed in on, like, what's really important. So, like, forward focus or focus factor? Like, what are we talking here? 
<laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I'm like, uh, I don't understand uh, the question. Can you repeat uh, it? I'm just, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, what, it, things change for you? Yeah, absolutely. It's just like, wait, what? what? It's just like, you, you, she changed for sure. For sure. You a smiling motherfucker now, bro. Nobody you, you, can. I you, honestly can't tell you nothing. Negative energy is bouncing off me. Yeah. Like it, I don't even care. Like. I don't. I'm just like. Ugh. So, no, it's so, just. I, I, it really with between us. Like I don't know, man. It's just magical. I can't. I can't really. Ladies out there, y'all know what to do. Go get engaged. Yeah, shit dope. Get your shit it's together. It's nice because. Oh man, I love this nigga, man. Yeah. I'm marrying my. I'm gonna marry my best friend, and it's that he asked. You know what it is? Here mm. it is. He asked. And like he had it all secretive, like it's something that he decided to do, not me. Like mm-hmm. that's his choice. It wasn't you forcing him into no. it or, or persuading him or no. nothing like that. He's you know? something he wanted to do. So it's like a connection. Like I see you, you see me, and it's we're time. meeting here, and we both are the same age. We're both in the same place at the same time, and we want to like conquer the world together. Now I have my life partner with me, and like let's do it. In my mind, that's just like cool because we were in a relationship and we were working towards it and it was cool and we got our dog and we got this, 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 so when did you know when did you know you wanted to be and you wanted to be like married and engaged probably honestly be- because, after we got our we all started out you didn't you, yeah. were, you wasn't feeling that way immediately was you after, no no after we got our dogs our that, dog that's when you knew i was like i'm kind of looking at him like can he take care of our other thing I'm gonna watch so how man he does take, so, so if a man can take care of a dog. Listen, you our know do- he can take a care husky, of by the way. That's a big dog. That's a big dog, it's and it's a big responsibility. A big yep. It's a big commitment, and like right now, our dog, our little girl, is in heat, and like we're having to manage that, and like the shit that's happening in our house right now, like everybody that's coming in and out, it's like because a dog is bigger than a baby. And yeah. and eventually it's another responsibility but, other than but ourselves. The baby ends up growing bigger than that. Right. Yeah. It does, but baby baby going to start cleaning up his step. own shit. It's a it's a starter <laughs> step. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Dog ain't never going to clean up his own shit. Never. never. So you going to stay there. It's a good training for the rest of his life. Yeah. It's, so it's training, training wheels. Mm-hmm. It's training wheels, but, but that's I, when you do. I was like, you know what? If and then watching the way he kind of like was off a little bit like, damn the fuck and then kind of just like started learning and then being super like this is i'm taking him with me we're going this we're going here we got to go here we got to go there watching him with the dog i was like damn okay i could really do life with you boom great That's it. and when does a man know when did you know or when do you think a man knows because you did get when did engaged you know when did you know when it was time to like i want to be engaged and spend the rest of my life with this woman because a lot of men be like fuck this i'm i don't know i'm scared i don't i don't know what i don't know yeah i probably started having the thought after not after but during our our third year anniversary when we were in tulum oh oh shit so so back wow. then wow that's probably yeah that was, was that was that was the time we when I went to Tulum. Nah, or that was after we that? went we went another time. Okay, went another time after that. Oh, when it was just oh for our third year our third year anniversary. Okay, mm. oh that's sweet. Well, we had a magical time there too. Yeah. So you knew in Tulum. So this is this is before the dogs, right? That was no, after, no, the dog. after the dog. Oh, it was after the dogs. After the dogs. After the okay. dog. We didn't have our second dog yep. yet. So you so both of y'all knew after ghosts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then you was like, "Yo, I, I want to." After Tulum, you was like, "You know, I can spend the rest of my life with this woman." Yeah, it seems that way. It because seems, you can oh, vacation with her, you have a good time. This is this is like our fourth, maybe fifth vacation together. But, but I mean, but still, like, how did you know? You can't just say it was Tulum. Like, how did you know it was? Like, what was the feeling? What was the yeah, action? What yeah. was it? What was it? I mean, because men want to know. I want to know. I'm curious. I, I never got to the point where I was like, I am. I'm ready to just mm-hmm. fucking marry you. Damn. So what? The, what the fuck? I got to do to get to that point? That's crazy. It's a crazy point for a man. Yeah. I, Men do it, but no man ever answered that question. You got the. You got the floor. Yeah. You have the big question. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm putting that pressure on me too. Yeah. Yeah. Pressure bust pipes. Yeah. Or make diamonds. Mm-hmm. And that's why she got one on her finger. I got one on my hand. Um. You know she got to do it. Yeah, nah, I, had to. I, I can't put a particular moment on it while we're in Tulum, but I just remember leaving Tulum saying, yeah, I don't want to do life with anybody else other than her, you know? Mm. I mean... She she literally is my person, you know? Like, I feel the happiest when I'm with her, you know? We experience a, damn near everything that's 
fun to both of us together for the first time, you know, whether it be food or wild experiences, or excursions, you know, traveling, seeing different countries. So for me, what, what's better than that? That's like, that's your best friend. The only thing better than that is that I get to sleep with her, you know? Yeah. So, so you got your best friend that you can fuck. I'm not, I mean, not to disrespect. No, 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 disrespect. no, 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 go down. You know? No disrespect. <laughs> go down. Know? But that's what it is, you know? So it's, for me, it's like, plus I know that's what she wants, right. you know? I think I think a woman always is going to want want that just a little bit more than a man because that's something they've always dreamed about, right? right? But it's the fairy tale. Right? Yeah, but I see her as my queen, so like I want to give her that, you know. So that's that's when I the thought happened, you know. I I knew she was going to be my person though, like early on, like 2016. 2017. Nigga, 2016 was a long five years ago. 2017. Yeah. 2017. Yeah. Damn. He knew in 2017. What's your, you got a better story than that? No. Okay. 2017, he was coming to see me at Malik's house. We were sleeping oh, on, on oh, Nala's little yeah, bed. yeah, yeah. We were sleeping on the bed like this size. Really? I was trying to put Candace came to sleep. Candace, she got a million followers on Instagram. Can't come to sleep with Omar on a twin size bed. I was in it too. Damn. I was like, this, I was in it. Now, y'all don't I'm it. blushing. No, what do you mean? You see blush on my black ass face. Come oh, sleep shit. with me on a twin size twin bed. Twin size bed. That's Somebody come crazy. sleep with me. Hey, like, come sleep with me on a twin size bed. You know what I'm saying? We pop, I'm popping the question. No, yeah. here's what it was though. He was like, hey, come over, you know, I'm going to cook you a little something. I said, you going to cook for me? And he was like, yeah, I'm going to make you a little something over here. You don't even got to worry about it, blah, blah, blah. What you want to eat, whatever. So I just came over there just to like talk, chop it up. And have a meal. Oh, and it turned into a, a, and a meal you had. I had a, a yeah. Snack too. I had a, a, a meal. meal and a snack. Had a snack too. These nasty motherfuckers on my show, man. I'm about to leave here so they can have sex. Right. These motherfuckers gonna be. Fuck. Y'all know where those cum stains came from from Bachelor Show? These two motherfuckers. They wasn't me, you know. That's crazy. So, but it's good that y'all like y'all still want each other, you know? Because a lot of people they don't. I see a lot of relationships and the flame is kind of like sizzled out. How do y'all keep the flame alive for so long? You know what I'm saying? What are you doing? Talk. We talk you know? about it. Yeah. Um, we, t- we talk whenever that shit just seems like it, it could be dying out. Hey, what, what we got to do to throw something? To get it back going. Keep, so it's communication? It's communication. Yeah, it's communication. And, I mean. And, a, and, a, and like, a trip to the sex store. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> we, I, we haven't done that in a while yeah we haven't done that but like we're just like even now we're like we're adding shit to our room like yeah we're, we're gonna add yeah. certain so to lights we're adding little things like yeah. and you, you tell her to like change her hair and shit and i never t- have to tell her to change her hair she's she just al- do it she always yeah she's, she's always i'm still it. i'm still a showgirl yeah she i don't, I don't have I, to tell I think her that's that. that's very important and and I, I try to tell the fellas out there or ladies out there that it's very important for a woman to kind of like, because guys, right, naturally, guys want something like new because we, you know, we're we're very physical about the attraction thing. But one thing that you've always done and some girls always do, they always switch it up. They yeah. always new. So he he always gets to get the new Candace, you know what I'm saying? So you he don't have to ask for that. Some girls, they just throw the bonnet on at night and it's just the same fucked up shit that she done, it's redundant, boom. You come, you got a new look. He's like, oh, I got a new you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. a new toy to play with you know so I think mm-hmm. it's very important for a woman to always wear something sexy switch it up and a man too but not as not so much for as much as you know the woman a woman a man always wants to see the newness yeah and, and the, it's fun yeah. that way too yeah, for you fun. as yeah. a woman like it's fun. A lot of it is for the man. Of course, you want to please your man, and you want him to look at you walking to the kitchen, and you want to, you know, keep you always excited. want to keep, keep him. him on shit. But yep. at the same time, shit, you walking by that mirror, girl. Like you want to feel yourself too. Like you want to feel. Sexy. You want to feel sexy, and it, I literally, I know it sounds so cliche and so silly, but like you gotta like really love yourself, and you gotta really, you want to, you want to feel sexy because mm-hmm. he's gonna feel it. Yep. You know, the minute I'm feeling sexy, he knows. Yep. When I'm not feeling it, when I'm like in a in a in a little a dump, yeah, yeah, when I because I do, yep, he knows, you know, but I, I get myself out of it, and when I'm feeling good, he feels it, and she go crazy. Because sex is important in relationships, it's absolutely, very important. It's, it's important, and if it, if that part leaves the relationship, a lot of times the relationship starts to like sizzle, and yeah. then arguments happen, and yeah. people don't know why they're frustrated, but they want to fuck, right? And yep. sex is a beautiful thing, especially when you it find is. the right person to do it with, obviously, and. Um, take advantage of it while we're young I think 
yeah. try, yeah. you yeah. know, to take advantage. And so y'all like in, y'all, y'all like exhibitionists? Are y'all fucking in different places and stuff? No, no. we need to we need to do more of that. Yeah, because you know I went through an exhibition phase. Did um, you? You know, yeah. One time I got caught fucking on a fifty yard line. Oh yeah, we don't do that. We're not that couple. No. <laughs> I, 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 we're, not, we're not there yet. Now I'm not. You, we're not against it. Just give you options. Hey, just telling you have it. You, you played football. You know, the yard line. That's nice. And it was at, it was at Burbank High School. I went up there like years ago, and I was with this one girl or whatever, and we snuck onto the field. That's kind of cool. We went to the middle of the field, and we just just smacking it out. And then this guy's jogging around. <laughs> He's jogging around. The track, he said, Oh, it's it's 11. I'm like, what fuck are you doing here? It's 11 o'clock at night. I'm smacking He's cheeks. Like, I'm jogging I'm on smack, the field. I'm smacking, some cheeks. I'm smacking some cheeks. You out here catching me smacking cheeks. That's on you. You fucked up trying to jog at 11 o'clock. No, that's real. Get up in the morning. Let no. me, let me oh, do so my you thing. Some shit out I was, here. Some no. I was, you know, it, it was it was a phase, you know, it was fun. You People know? like that yeah. kind of yeah. shit, though. Yeah, yeah. People like Sometimes that. Sometimes I just used to just hop in the Jeep, go to the top of Mall and Drive and just put a sheet in the back of the Jeep and just go for it. You know, like just. That reminds me of like, just like, know, I don't know. Just to, just to do different shit. Because, yeah, I mean, I think we'll be down, for, but I don't even think we're there yet as far as like you got going. We got time. Years. You exactly. Got time. Like, we're going to get there. Right now, we're into like sprucing up our place yeah, even more. You know, we got time. making our shit more freaky. Get our time. shit. Are you gonna get like the little freaky wheel on the walls? I mean, we had a, a stripper pole in the room for a little bit. Yeah, took it down. We but, like mirrors. But we got it. So you like danced on the pole and then did the thing. And I mean, I was trying to learn how to do. Did you, you did you think... dance on the pole for her? Did what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. This nigga was on the pole. I can see Omar uh, on the pole. Hey. No, that is not the vibe. <laughs> Magic Mike. More and like that childish. Shit. He would run and be like, uh, what? Swing around. He swings it like, like he's at a freaking playground. Slang, that was slang, slang some dick around that pole. That shit. <laughs> that I would. I need. I need to see that. Uh, nah, chill. Hey. <laughs> Ain't no Magic Mike. Hey, Magic <laughs> Mike it up on the pole. <laughs> give each other dances like and shit like that i mean sometimes i go like i don't I you would no dance. yeah he's not doing none of that but i'm i'm not into if he were to do that i think that's not I, your thing i like him doing like i like him being like whatever you want like, to like, do like, what's up like that boom uh, <laughs> that's crazy i was thinking about you doing it just like it, the the thought that just what rushed through my butt that? let me try that shit love but, <laughs> <laughs> that shit don't work for me. I don't get the same yes, response. Cool. Yes, it it's does. Cool. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It's the cool. it's the within. It's the within. It's, it's the fire within. Cool. It's still go- it still makes me go crazy. Damn. But um, yeah, Y'all, he don't got to like- do much. He don't got to do much. It's me. I like I like to feel sexy. I like to be in my showgirl vibe. I like to be um in performance mode. Um, but I'm not going like a one two three a five six seven. We're not doing but that. You're a professional dancer. I you're hear not you, but not for my one nah. man. No. No, no, that's I don't for, get no eight counts. Yeah, no. No he eight gets, counts. TikTok gets get more than eight counts than I do. Damn, do you want eight counts? Man, I would, I would enjoy some eight counts. <laughs> really? What the fuck? You're not going to give him no eight counts? I would counts? enjoy some eight counts. You got to ask. You a professional dancer Nigga, out TikTok here. get more eight counts than I do. Hey, you can't get no eight counts? He's a coming to rehearsal. So, so, so let me get this straight. You're a professional dancer. You have a company called 5678, which is an eight count, and he don't get no eight counts? <laughs> I don't get eight Damn. Count. <laughs> he don't get way more than eight count. He gets a whole goddamn uh, dance with a happy ending, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, happy ending. Happy ending. I'm just here for that. Wait, are y'all ending. giving are y'all giving out massages to each other? Y'all massaging each other? I bought a massage table recently. Are you giving massages or are you getting massages? I remember times when he gave me a massage, but he wants to pretend like he don't give me a massage. Mm. Nikki massage. Nikki I, massage. I, I give you massages. Mm. Yeah, that's you. what I just said. Oh, okay. You're not giving massages. The, is that what you thought I said? You thought I yeah. said I, I, okay. Yeah. yeah, I said I get massages. Okay, cool. Yeah, not I Do don't you want say. massages? Hell yeah. He can't get massages? He's gotten massages. You guys, listen. I, the two of you can't get up on me right look, now? I'm asking. I'm trying to get my back If rubs. you told me, if my you told me sore. that, if he told me that, that you don't get massages, I'll look at him and say, damn, she can't get a massage? Babe, do you not get massages? I don't know. Oh, oh you I guys, mean, he's know. showing out for you. I don't know. I he's just, showing I just out for you. I just think that if, if, if someone feels like they're not getting something, you give them what they want. And then he needs to communicate that you to me. You need to communicate. You don't communicate? Are you not communicating I'm that to me? Communicate. We're talking about it. Oh. Let's <laughs> talk about it. Let's, okay, <laughs> so let's talk about it. Okay, so let's talk about it. What are the things <laughs> that, what are, what are, name three things that you feel like you're not getting that you should get, and then you name three things that you feel like you're not getting. You Go ahead, Omar. Go ahead. A massage. I'm not trying to stalk no brief, cool. but I'm cool. just saying. Let's, let's talk. I need my let's back rub. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I need my toes licked. Mm. <laughs> you really want your toes licked? No, he yeah. does not. Yes. No, he does not. 
Oh, no, he does wow. not. Yo, you gotta lick them toes, bro. You gotta lick them Omar. toes. Omar. You gotta lick them toes. Omar. You gotta lick them toes. I need the Come toes. On. Come on. Why do you want your toes licked? Come on. No, you do not. Come you guys on. don't. This is a game. He's so so. You you want to like this you want to put like honey and shit on your toe, like syrup and stuff, or like something something maple. sweet, maple syrup. He does not want so, his toes licked. So why don't you just put maple syrup on a man's toes? And lick okay, his toes. I got on. him. I'm his Fifi. I'm his fiance. I'll do it. Okay. And, so, and what's the third thing? And um, what? I need you to pick up the shit. Oh, the dog shit outside. <laughs> you in don't the pick up dog shit. Barely oh, because. Wow. It's just that's the hard part. I know, but I love on them. That's the hard part. You got to get the shit. If you get a dog, you got to get the shit. You know why I don't have a dog? Because I don't want to pick up the shit. Yeah, and it's like you get two dogs, and then it's like and the they got shit big increases shits. by Y'all got six. Some big dogs. That's some big, big shit. Too. Yeah. Big shit. Yeah. Wow. What you want from me though? So get a three. Yeah. What's your three? I don't fucking know. Oh come on! You want me to suck your toes don't, too? Don't do that. No, babe, I'm cool on the don't sucking do that. toes. You know, like you toes. know, you know. Okay, I want, I want okay, more massages. Mm -hmm. How often do you get massages? Like whenever I ask for it, but I would like one just like, babe, you had a long day. Come here, let me. Oh, so you want a non, a non ax massage? Yes. Oh I, yeah, a non. Me too. Okay, cool. So we could do that. I, I always say in my relationships that I just want a girl to just walk up to me and just pull my pants down and just give me head. You know, I've. Uh, yeah, I want that too. Do you really? I want that too. I think too. because a guy never wants to ask for head. He just wants a girl to just want to give it. It's just so different. Yeah, I guess. Just like I, a girl, she never like. Imagine if you asked a man to give you flowers. It's not the same as when he just surprised right, you with flowers. Right. Mm. But same sucking thing with dick head. is no. sucking dick is a little bit different. No, though. how? Well, just sucking because dick is free. Flowers cost money. I know, but it's just like. The way niggas be working out and shit. I need to know your schedule. Like I need to know. He's not on his period. He's just working out. When he get out the shower, pull the towel. Oh, off okay, and suck his dick. okay, cool. That's cool. Boom. I can do that. Kind of musty and not the, not the walking in. The, where did you just come from? No, no, not the walk in suck. I'm talking that's about what the, you, that's, the, what you, no, no, that's what you no, said. No, the shower suck. The shower. Yeah, yeah. The in the side. shower, out of the shower, yeah, yeah, after the, the shower. shower. Yeah. Let's do the shower. Suck. Right when you and this nigga loves coconut oil. Like yeah, I, once I see the coconut oil, I know it's game time. It's game time. I know what time but he, it is. But I'm saying he don't want to ask. Just like you don't want to ask for flowers, a man don't want to yeah, ask no, for Yeah, no, and I know that. And I I am I know that. I okay, thought you so, were talking about the walk-in. So let's, let's get these other two things that you were talking about. He's going he gonna to give you more massages. More Why massages. Why don't you buy a massage table? You're upgrading the house. I bought one there. Nice. Get one. Yeah, I think we should. Get one because again. it makes it feel like a real massage when you lay on a real massage table and you get you start getting it in. Don't do it on your bed. You know what's going to happen there. Do it on the real massage table. No, Put I the candle like, lights on. I kind of like the... Take it from the table to the bed. I'm telling you, it's different. I'm telling you, it's a different vibe. Hey, it's a new thing that we got to try. I want to try that. Okay, so what's the other two things? Um, get to it. Honestly, I'm I'm really not you, even... You're, you're satisfied. Yeah, like I can't even... Let's you, talk about don't, it. Don't get at me for... Don't get at me. Don't get at me for leaving the toilet seat up. Oh. You leave the toilet seat up? Not the toilet seat. Sorry, the, the flap. Because our dogs... Not... <laughs> He, this, he like yo this is crazy you do, you went too far dog okay no listen the flap the toilet flap the top. I'm just trying to figure out what community I'm talking to <laughs> <laughs> I want to know the pronouns now <laughs> the flap the flap because our dogs they're so annoying and they start licking the bowl inside of the bowl like the water because they're annoying right so, um, you, so, so, he, so he so I just I'm a creature of habit and I never really put it up and down and he just be yapping at me so, for it. so second, I just my second thing is don't tell me what to do about the goddamn toilet seat okay then, then who gonna put the toilet seat down it just dog, I guess I guess the dog's just gonna be drinking out the bowl no no I'm gonna I'm working on it okay now what's and what's the third thing that you want I mean it gotta be something big you gotta lick his fucking toes you gotta come in you gotta come heavy you, you gotta lick this man's toes come on you gotta give us something let's talk about it I'm trying to think oh you want to come back to it? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. If you're shy, we, you know, it's cool. I'm not shy at all. Okay. I actually wish I had something for Cause you. Because he's looking over like, yo, I need to know. What it's going to be? Do you have a suggestion? No. No, it's up to you. Yeah. You got to answer that. It's up to you and the things that you want in your relationship, right? But yeah, no, but I'm, I'm, cool. I'm just asking those things because when you have a third party that steps in, you know what I'm saying, you get information that some people may not <laughs> yeah. get to each other. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. I did not know he wanted me to look his toe. Let I me was, be. I was just playing. Every year, okay, so way. you got to give us a third one then. I thought you were serious about the toes. No, I was just no he's not serious about no I've, damn toes. I've I told you. I've people that were serious yeah, about right. toes. No, he's not trying to it's have really me lick thing. his toes. No. Toes is a thing, y'all. I think we said two and two's good. 
Two is great. We each said two. Two is great. Okay. If that's where y'all want to live. Two is great. Yeah, that's where we want to live. At. Okay. Two. So like you know, I would, if I thought of something, if I had something, I would definitely. He say gonna it. give you massages. Stop doing the bowl thing. Yeah. You gonna give him, you know, what was it? The, the back massages back and massage. head and head at the door. That's that. That wasn't even it. I threw that in there. I threw it in as a bonus. Yeah, he did. But but we we head sat, at the door. I thought this was a shower head. Is head shower at the door head. too? Shower no, head. we're talking about it. And then we came to the conclusion that it would be after the shower when the coconut oil is on at any time. You can get it, which is the case already. Anytime you can get it. It is what it is. I love it. Anytime I I, 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 I I fucking love it. I think it's dope. I'm glad y'all came on. I'm glad Hell we y'all yeah. talked about y'all engagement. So the next phase. Now remember, let's just go. Let's just recap. So when you're in the engagement phase, you want to think about the ring first, right? Yeah. Then the then the next phase is to get the balls to make to to do. do how did you show, wait? Okay, before we get out of here, can you talk about how you set everything up? Yeah, yeah. Let's Bro, talk about the setup. Yeah, really quick. I I shit. I found a spot. I knew I wanted to do in Malibu. I wanted to do it on the water. I don't know. From from here, from Southern California, I mean, what better place? We don't, I mean, the beach is in our backyard. We don't even access, we don't take advantage of it enough, you know? So It's summertime. It's summertime. It's like, I, I really wanted that sunset vibe, you know, um, waves splashing up and all that, the whole ambiance, you know? So I found a spot on Airbnb, booked it, man. Uh, have a very good friend who's an event planner who came in and kind of helped me with the floors and all, all of that stuff. I found a, a musician um the instagram hired her hired a chef shout out to marcel and galen yeah that's we the, started a meal prep company by the way i heard candace yeah. told me today I'm yeah like, me, yeah congratulations genius. Yeah, you, because the I'm chefs always, you know i'm always on top of some shit you are yeah. are and i'm like we should have thought of that yeah she said that earlier yeah we should have thought yeah. of that and i'm i'm so proud of you they storm because you be i'm sorry i don't mean to cut you off it's all good. but it's all good. like they storm you just be into you're so the thick of it you're, you're, you're con- into the thick of it you're into con- the thick of it constantly elevating constantly and we are so inspired by you as like friends and we see you doing everything and like you gotta be are, on top of the yeah, shit yeah you're the shit you gotta be on top of the shit so so how do you know who to invite to the engagement party and who not and, and because you have a lot of friends right you have a lot yeah. of associates you have a lot of friends how do you know who you're going to invite and who not to invite and hey you know someone's not gonna feel slighted if they don't come to the wedding or the engagement and stuff see, like the that wed- the wedding see the what we- see <laughs> i actually thought about all of this and the wedding because we wanted to be a destination i knew that before i even proposed shit the invite's gonna go out to everybody if whoever can make it you right, know right now as far as the engagement goes it was more so about like her for me you know, I feel like the wedding is like going to be both of us. So the Where, engagement is like whoever she's close. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah, about yeah, like yeah, who, yeah. who, who she's, she's close who with. she's close to, and like the close friends that I have that are close to our relationship. Because I have close friends that aren't necessarily close to our relationship. Right, there's close friends to me, so like I didn't invite those people. But if they had a close relationship with Candace and I, they got the invite. You know, and obviously all of her day one friends here. You know, I so. love it. I got the invite, so yeah, you did. You're I, kind of in there. I yeah. made the cut, y'all. Hey, so yeah. there it is. Kind of in there. I love kid. it. So, how do you know who you invite to the wedding? Do you, do you have? You know? Oh, that's like a one of those anxiety mm. questions, like right now, because like I have, I can't even. I haven't even gone. That's hard. I haven't even gone there because it's like, how far back do you want to go? Because like, there's a life, a life goal of ours or of mine, you know, as a woman. But at the same time, it's like, like he said it's our coming together so like i think it's important that the people that are invited know us as a relationship this isn't my show this is our show it's the komar show it's the komar Komar show show. so like have you hung out with us have you gone on dates with us have do you know us as a couple you know back in when i was back in florida like you know it's just different so the so so the wedding and the engagement is more about our us it's us it's us it's It's an us thing all about us um maybe maybe even baby shower (laughs) is a little bit different maybe i don't know maybe a bridal shower maybe is a little bit different but i think um it's an us thing but definitely i definitely want like my childhood best friend to be there i want my dance teachers to be there my high school teachers to be there like the fuck you ain't seen them when did you see your high school teachers no no, high school teachers no i'm sorry my high school dance teachers i was in a dance program so i I know exactly who i'm talking about i'm gonna call my math teacher no no not my no 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 no, not math no no other subject (laughs) other than dance um my dance teachers and stuff like that like the core people i used to compete with like those kinds of things that were there we would always talk about weddings or getting married or you know the magical stuff hi but when you get married like that 
my second moms when we would leave dance and we would go and I would be riding in a whip with moms and we'd be going to Taco Bell like those kinds of, you know like you're invited to the wedding you have to come I love you and you mm-hmm. love me because you gave me your time and your energy you, I need you, you need you to know up. that you're gonna you're gonna you're invited you gotta pull so up so those kinds of things and people that have probably been with him like yeah I got a couple coaches yeah up, coaches yeah. and fathers and moms that used to cook yeah. for you when you were hungry and you people would go, inspired you to get to certain for levels sure. in yeah. your life and stuff sure. like that so those yeah. people will be invited All and I think that's important role in, in in life to help you become the man that you are today you know i think that's important for the invite um and as far as friends and family friends for sure like people that know us and hung out with us and know and then family of course now that's gonna be a whole nother thing because we got big families well there it is, y'all. Y'all heard it here first. We talked about it. The Komar show came back through. The the bling is crazy on our hand. Um, so okay. what, what, are y'all, what are y'all working on before we get out of here? What do, do y'all have anything y'all working on y'all want to shout out and stuff? Uh, obviously, you guys, make sure you check out the Komar show on YouTube. We're going up, up, up. We are going to document this whole process because mm-hmm. I be can't crazy. do this alone. Because yep. we don't. I've never been here. He's never been here before. This is both t- our firsts. Thank so God. we're definitely going to document it for ourselves and we're going to share with y'all um also <clears throat> count me in five six seven eight you already know them them damn sets going crazy them lashes going crazy More and it's crazy. not gonna stop we're, we're about to drop something within the next couple months um so yeah just make sure you check that out shop.countmein5678.com yep and you can go to omarcbolden.com uh to download the how to move like an athlete program and uh check it out on omar bolden fit on instagram and and the nice and neat podcast <laughs> then I got to talk about the Nice Neat Podcast. I don't know how I left that out. Yeah, because well, we don't. We actually doing a podcast with them soon too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yep. absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, check out Nice Neat the Podcast. Nice Neat the Podcast on Instagram and on YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, Apple Music, Spotify. Cool. I appreciate y'all coming through. Yeah, Love thanks. y'all, and Love, we're gonna, and we're gonna have y'all on again because we still want to talk about what's, what PCOS. 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 Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, the thing. Got to have her back for that. No, no, we, want to, we want to talk about it's, that. It's for the ladies. And, and then I'm going to have you back with your squad nice and neat so we can talk about, um, we're going to talk about uh, what, what's toxic to men. And then I'm going to have you on with some girls and we're going to talk about what's Sound toxic right to alley. women. Oh, I'm ready for that. I already know. I already know. Sound like know. A bar, both our alleys. Okay. So, yo, we out. <laughs>